Hello, I'm Carl Patrick, Technology Manager with Vision Realty Centers. I'm here today to talk about the importance of setting goals in your real estate career. This is about defining what success means to you. It's about figuring out where the finish line is so we know if we won the race. You know, just as kids mark their height on walls as they grow older, we need to chart our progress as sales professionals. We need to monitor our actions and the results that come from them. So let's start with the overall goal, the long-term goal. For the purposes of this video, let's say that's $60,000 a year in gross commission or $2 million in overall sales. So we have our long-term goal. Now we need to break that down into more manageable short-term goals. So it would take about 20 closings a year at an average sale price of $100,000 representing only one party to reach that $2 million sales level. So let's say about two closings a month we'll need. Now that's one short-term goal. We need to get leads in order to convert them into clients and then convert that into closings. So let's say we need 10 leads a month and two closings every month. Now where are we going to get those leads from? Boyd Rudy has an excellent class on lead generation, but you need to ultimately decide what areas you want to focus on in your career. Do you want to deal mostly with listings? Do you want to deal mostly with buyers? Do you want to try to be a dual agent as often as possible, which of course is very lucrative? Do you want to deal with short sales, relocations? There's any number of avenues that you can head down in your career. I suggest working with your strengths, but recognize your weaknesses and actively try to practice and exercise those weaknesses until they grow stronger. So maybe Dedicate yourself to one listing presentation a month if you're uncomfortable with listing presentations. Sooner or later, you'll get very comfortable with it and confident in your skills. And listings are fairly easy to sell when compared to showing a buyer 20 homes, wasting all that gas, or rather, you, you expensing all that gas, then, you know, versus a listing where you just do the presentation, Earn your client's trust through your knowledge and confidence in the area. And let the MLS and the proper pricing of the home do a lot of the marketing work. In today's market, that is reality. Of course, six months from now, maybe the market might be flooded with homes and you'll have to get more creative with your marketing. Remember that you need to change your tactics. If you're doing everything you need to do, or at least what you perceive you need to do, to, and you're still not reaching that goal. Change your tactics. Change your strategy. Don't just give up on your goal yet. Of course, down the line, you might realize that you set way too lofty of a goal, and you should, you know, par that down a little bit. But I feel you should just try something different and see if you can achieve your goal if with a little adjustment in tactics. Remember, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So, if at first you don't succeed, try, try something different. Now, so, we have our goals. We need to write them down. We need to place them where we can see them every day, where we can review them and remember what it is we are working for. Maybe have a picture of your family right next to it, or a car or a boat or a home that you'd like to purchase. And there's nothing wrong with motivating yourself with gifts and extravagant homes or whatever it takes to get yourself motivated for success. And goals just define that success, but success is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. That goal, that inspiration, that motivation that you're working towards, that's nothing compared to the hard work that it will take to reach that goal. So remember to set both long-term and short-term goals work with your actions and adjust them if necessary to help meet those goals. Remember, every time you're sitting down to work, ask yourself, how does this contribute to my goal? And be realistic with your goals, but challenge yourself. The only way you can grow as a person is if you push those boundaries, if you step outside your comfort zone. So remember, goals are about defining success for you as a person. So. If there's any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email, and good luck out there.